All right, this is Miss Wiles, and this is SMA 1, Prep 1, number 12. Given M equals A plus B plus C over 3, which equation represents C in terms of the other variables? Here we have four variables, four variables, M and A and B and C and one lonely number 3. And we can tell by what it's asking us, which equation represents C in terms of the other variables, and getting used to seeing those words, meaning that we're rearranging it so that we don't have M equals, we have C equals. And in each one of our answer choices, we have C equals. Well, at some point in the process, as soon as you realize which one is correct, you can choose it. But when we look at something like this, it's similar to getting rid of parentheses. We like to get rid of parentheses, but another thing that we like to get rid of, when I say get rid of, like in the first steps of solving an equation, if we see this, we want to get rid of it. We want to take care of it real quick, and that is a denominator. When we see a denominator of 3, when we see a fraction, multiply by that denominator. Multiply by the least common denominator, and if you do it on one side, you do it on the other, because of what property? You got it, the multiplicative property of equality, or multiplication property of equality. And now we have 3m equals a plus b plus c. Because when we divide by 3 and when we multiply by 3, they cancel out. Now I still want to have c by itself. I want to have c by itself. And to get C by itself, let's think about what we should do. Well, what would we do if these were numbers? We'd do the opposite. Instead of adding B, we'd subtract. Or instead of adding 4, we'd subtract 4. So the variables act the same. So I'm going to subtract B. We subtract B. Well, B isn't like M, so I can't combine them. It's just 3M minus B. And that equals, these cancel out, and I've got A plus C. And some of you already, may already be thinking, well, why didn't we do two steps in one? And if you're that good now, go ahead. But we're going to subtract A because we still want to isolate that C. It is our variable of interest. We've been interested in it from the very beginning. They said, what is C in terms of the other variables? So every step that you take is getting down to that point where C is isolated. A minus A cancels out, and I have 3M minus B minus A equals C. Then I look at my answer choices. Oh, and by the way, I'm going, yay, because I've got C isolated, and it's done. So I'm looking for the answer choice that looks most like 3M minus B minus A, and I can confidently choose A because eh, all they did was rearrange this, and it's exactly the same. 3M minus B minus A is the same as 3M minus A. A minus B. And that, my scholarly student, is all I have to say about that.